Okay, uh, now we're going to, we've done weighted average costing method, we've done first in, first out, or FIFO costing method, we've also done last in, first out, or LIFO costing method. Now I want to show you how the cost of goods sold affects our financial statements. So, first of all, we have, we're going to use an imaginary income statement here. So we're going to say in all cases, nothing, it's going to, we have sales of $500. So sales, it's not going to matter what inventory method we use, because that's not going to change our sales revenue. Whatever we sold it for is what we sold it for. So we're going to have $500 of revenue all the way across the board. We're also going to have down on the bottom here, we're going to have admin expenses of $100, which goes, doesn't change anything based on the method that we use. So the only thing that really changes is our cost of goods sold. Our cost of goods sold, if you remember in our first example, our weighted average was $240. Okay? To figure out our gross profit, we take our sales minus our cost of goods sold, gives us gross profit of $260, subtract out our $100 admin expense, and we have net income of $160. For first in, first out, our cost of goods sold was $210. Again, this is the only number that's changing. So we have a gross profit of $290, and our bottom line becomes $190. And finally, under LIFO, sales remain the same. Cost of goods sold are 270 in that example. So our gross profit is 230. Subtract our admin, and we had a net income of $130. So you can see, based on which inventory method we used, we had a difference of $60. And that was just in our very small example of 15 items. We had $60 difference on our net income just based on what costing method we used. So as you can tell, when we multiply that, like at a big company, by you know millions of items sold, what inventory method we use does play a big difference. So that's why it's important. You are required in the financial statements to disclose whether you use FIFO, LIFO, and weighted average. And there's also what's called a LIFO conversion, where you put down, okay, if I use LIFO, what would my, you know, what would it look like if I had used FIFO? And they'll give you a conversion number. Okay, and that will help you compare, let's say Walmart used LIFO for value and inventory and Target used FIFO for value and inventory. You can use that difference, that number, to adjust the, their financial statements so you can compare the two. So that's why you can do that. It's called LIFO, LIFO layer. Okay, and that is the difference. This little example of how that difference, uh, which inventory valuation method we use does make a big effect. I'd also like to take this time to thank my daughter Jessica, who's doing the filming here for me using my little flip camera. Jessie's just a she's a graduate of KU and she's now working for the courts, taking care of the juvies. So thank you, Jessica. And as for we're set up in my kitchen, so hopefully you can see this stuff the best as possible. And hopefully just give these little videos are just giving you an idea of some of the things that that can hopefully help you go through this.